Welcome to the MyFit system. By following these simple steps for doing a customized fitting, you'll guarantee your patients receive eyeglasses that fit them perfectly. Let's get started. To create a patient record, click on the patient icon with the plus sign in the upper left corner of the screen. Enter the patient's first and last name. Click on the add icon to save your information and return to the home page. Once you return to the home page, the fitting settings and options for selecting the frame are no longer grayed out. Click on the fitting parameters icon to begin taking the measurements. Once the patient has chosen a frame, unclip the lenses or clean the lenses for drilled or grooved frames. Then, adjust the frame to properly position it on the patient's face. Let's see if these frames are properly adjusted to your face. Okay. You should feel completely comfortable with them. Mm -hmm. Feels good. When the patient's frame is properly adjusted, attach the clip to the frame. Open the arms, Insert the bottom of the frame into the lower tabs, then gently pull the frame towards you so as to open up the clip arms so you can position the top of the rim in the upper tabs. Check that the rim is inserted all the way into the tabs. Center the clip on the frame using the center mark as a guide. Now we are ready for the fitting. Now our measurement system allows us to personalize your lenses and positions the lenses precisely in the frame to within a tenth of a millimeter. If the patient is purchasing several frames, you should do a fitting for each pair after making the proper adjustments. So this is the MyFit mirror system. It's the very latest in fitting technology. Okay, is this going to take very long? Oh, only a few minutes. And it's very important that you're completely satisfied with your lenses given the investment you're making in the glasses. Okay, so let's get started. Seat the patient in front of the unit, facing the mirror, with the frame and clip in place. Ask the patient to sit by placing her knees at the edge of the sales table. Place the MyFit mirror at a distance of 70 to 75 centimeters. Then adjust the equipment to get a visual by sliding and pivoting the system. You can check the distance between the patient and the system by looking to see whether the mobile indicator is between the two black lines on the green bar on the screen. Once the patient is properly positioned, ask her to look straight ahead into the distance and move her head slightly from right to left so as to assume a natural posture for looking into the distance. To help with that, move slightly to one side to get out of the field of vision. The patient's gaze into the distance should not be disrupted or distracted while the measurements are being taken. The patient should be relaxed with her feet flat on the ground and hands resting comfortably on her knees. Check that the frame is still properly adjusted and the patient has a natural posture. Okay, Lauren, look at me. Good, now look straight ahead into the distance. Perfect. If the patient seems tense, you can help her relax by asking her to look at you for a few seconds. And then once again, look at a point straight ahead in the distance. Be sure to check that the sensors placed on the front of the frame clip are visible. The camera icon is displayed in red if the frame clip has not been detected, and in green once it has been detected.
In order to perform the base measurements, you need to take two pictures. Okay, Lauren, we're gonna take two pictures to get all the measurements we need for your lenses. For the first picture, I'm gonna ask you to look straight ahead um, into the distance in front of you. Ask the patient to focus on a point in the distance directly in front of her. Click on the picture or camera icon to take the first picture. Wait until the screen displays an area with degrees in the upper right corner. The instructions for taking the second picture will then appear. If the device, the patient, or the frame and clip move between the first and second picture, delete the first picture and start over. Very good, Lauren, I'm gonna ask you now to lower your chin and focus on the light in the mirror. Ask the patient to lower her chin and focus on the light. The area displayed in the upper right corner of the screen should confirm that the patient has lowered her head by 10 to 20 degrees. Once you have the desired tilt, ask the patient to focus on that point. Taking care not to move the equipment, click on the picture or camera icon to take the second picture and wait for the image on the screen to change before finishing the measurements. Very good, Lauren. Now I've taken the two pictures um, that we need for measurements, but I just need to make a few adjustments so I can get all of the measurements and the glasses back. Once you've taken the two pictures, the patient can remove the frame and clip. When you're using the MyFit system, the last step is to complete the measurements by checking the iris detection and corneal reflections, completing the boxing, and if necessary, measuring the curve of the frame. At this point, the patient can relax while you finish the measurements. This is an opportunity to reconnect with the patient. When the first screen appears, you should verify the circles in dotted red lines are centered on the irises. Adjust each circle as needed by clicking twice on the target icon to zoom in, then drag the circle or use the arrows to move it. If the image is too dark or overexposed, click on the cloud icon to adjust the contrast. Once the two irises have been properly detected, Click on the blue arrow in the bottom right corner of the picture to move to the next screen. This screen lets you adjust the lens frame tangents. This process is used to get the pupillary distance, the half PD in far vision and near vision, and the heights and dimensions of the frame. Click twice on the target icon to zoom in. Then adjust each line so it is at a tangent to the outside edge of the lens by dragging the line or using the precision adjustment arrows. Click again on the target to zoom out, then go on to the next line. The lines are shown in red before you adjust them and white after you adjust them. To save time, if you only use the system for measurements, you can adjust the nasal and lower tangents only. If you use the system to order pre-calibrated lenses, you will need to position all eight tangents as appropriate. Once you've completed this task, select the frame material and then click on the blue arrow icon to go on to the next screen. Now you need to check that the corneal reflections have been properly detected. They have reticular charts on top of them. Adjust each of the red crosses as needed by selecting the target icon twice to zoom in. Once you've zoomed in on the red crosses, you can drag them or use the arrows to move them. When the corneal reflections have been properly detected, adjust the curve if necessary, or click on the Save icon to save the measurements and return to the home page. To adjust the curve, click on the red Adjust the Curve icon. Keep the patient's frame in the center and verify that the top is aligned with the horizontal line on the graphic. 
click on the plus or minus icons until the red line intersects with the rim at each end. Click on the Save icon to save the curve and return to the previous page. Then click on the Save icon again to save all your measurements and return to the home page. If any of the results are displayed in red, check the value and confirm if you think the measurement is reasonable. If not, check the boxing and take the pictures again if necessary. Click on the reading distance icon and hand the tablet to your patient. The patient should be wearing their own frame with the previous correction and with the clip properly positioned. Adjust the angle of the mirror and the distance between the mirror and the patient until the frame clip and tablet sensors are visible. Okay, Lauren, so now we're gonna test your reading distance. So hold the tablet comfortably and uh, read the text out loud. Ask the patient to hold the tablet as if she were holding a book. Then press the camera or video icon to start the measurement. Next, click on the three checkerboard markers on the tablet and click on the two black circles located at each end of the clip. The reading distance will be displayed on the screen. Click on the Save icon to save the measurement and return to the home page. Once you've completed the measurements, Review the results by selecting the patient records icon on the home page, then the patient's name and the display icon. The measurements displayed include the pupillary distance, half PD in near and far vision, height, lens eye distance, pantoscopic tilt, and the various boxing measurements. The frame measurements displayed include the A, B, and DBL dimensions, and the curve angle measurement. Once these measurements have been taken, it's important to check the results and confirm the values are consistent. You can send the patient's record via email or click on the circle icon in the upper right corner to return to the home page. Now, if you're having trouble telling how you look in the frames without your prescription lenses, we can use MyFitMirror to take pictures of you. Okay, that would be great. To use the frame comparison tool on your MyFitMirror system, click on the frame selection icon on the home page. Have the patient sit down with the frame she's selected right in front of the camera and position the equipment so the patient appears on the screen. You can take fixed images by selecting the picture icon to use the flash, click on the flash icon. You can take up to four pictures. Compare the pictures by selecting the frame selection icon. Click on an image to remove it from your selection or select it on the sidebar to add it to your selection. Click on the album icon to adjust the white balance on the images as needed.